I'm about to solve one of the greatest WordPress mysteries, and that is why the emails that go out from your WordPress website are either A, going into your spam box, or the person that the emails need to go to, their spam box, or they're not getting the email at all. I'm gonna solve this mystery, and the reason I wanted to make this video is because I've had a lot of people come across this problem, and I just wanna show you how to fix it because it's a, a very simple fix and uh, you know I do the non-techy stuff and I make things real simple and this is going to be a simple fix. Now by default your WordPress website just shoots out emails okay it goes straight from the server that your WordPress site's on. This is a disaster because there's a lot of checks and balances with email systems to minimize spam and there's all these different checks and if things don't look right you'll have providers just not deliver the email at all or just as bad it'll go in the spam box and you really see this with these uh, web-based email providers like Gmail, Yahoo, uh, some people still use AOL that's a different generation. Uh, but uh, these free email services like that, uh, the, a lot of times they'll just send it to spam or they'll just completely block it. So the problem is the way that WordPress by default sends email. And what you need to do is you need to install a plugin that allows you to specify, tell WordPress how to send an email out. So you essentially put your email credentials uh, into it. So let me just show you and it might make a little bit more sense. Um, uh, actually, I forgot to say something that's kind of important. Um, having emails go out from WordPress actually get delivered is important. So you're either in one or two situations. Either you have a website with maybe a contact form on it and those emails only go to you. So if it ends up in a spam box, it's not that big of a deal if you check your spam box. That's one scenario where it's a total other disaster is if you're doing any kind of e-commerce or using any kind of plugin that needs to send an email confirmation to someone, then it's a complete disaster. So either way, this is gonna be your fix. So I'm logged into WordPress and what you wanna do, go to plugins and then click on add new and uh, do a search for this right here, WP Mail SMTP. Okay, just do do a search for that and then click on enter. And it's probably gonna pull up a several SMTP type of plugins. And look at this one right here. W this is the one we're gonna use. And you can see it's installed on uh, over 400,000 <laughs> WordPress websites. So this is the plugin to use. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on install now. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to, to, to configure an email account for WordPress to send an email out from. And it's just as simple as configuring an email account in your iPhone or your uh, Outlook if you have a PC or Apple Mail if you have a Mac. So let's go ahead and activate this plugin right now. Now after you activate it, if you go under the settings menu here, there's a new option that says email. So all you need to do is fill this out. So the first thing is to put the from email. And so this would be the email address that when someone receives it, it's gonna say it's from. So with WP Crafter, it's adam at wpcrafter.com. And then right here, you can specify the name. If you've ever received an email from me, through my website, it will have Adam and then the at side and the sign and then it just says WP Crafter. I don't use my last name and I do that on purpose so you can know where the heck this email came from. Uh, for you, you maybe the name of the website, the name of the business or something along those lines. Those are all options. And then right here, you have a choice of a mailer. What you're gonna want is to use this first option where it says send all WordPress emails via SMTP. Now. Uh, this is the default right here, and this is the one that gets you into some uh, trouble. So just leave that on, send uh, them all via SMTP. 
And then you can scroll down here and you have to fill this out. Now this is your standard email settings. So you need to put an SMTP host. Now typically this is mail.domainname.com. So for me it would be mail.wpcrafter.com. Uh, and then the port for, for me is 25. Um, your, your web host will be able to give you that information. Uh, and then if you wanted to use encryption or not, uh, now just about all SMTP servers, you have to use authentication. So you would uh, click on that and then you'd put the username and the password. This should kind of be standard stuff that you're already familiar with if you've ever configured an email account in anything. And uh, if you're not familiar with this, you can, uh, for instance, if your web host is using cPanel, you can go where you created the email address and the settings are right there. You can ask your web host what those settings need to be. There's lots of different ways of getting this email. Heck, you could even probably get it out of your iPhone. If you have it plugged into your iPhone, you can get it out of your um, uh, email client you use on your computer. If you want to, say, send emails out through, say, you have a Gmail account, all you have to do is do a Google search for Gmail SMTP settings. And so it'll give you the settings there, which it would be their SMTP server or the host, the port they want you to use. It'll basically be all these settings right here. Your username and password would be your Gmail address and your Gmail password. So I hope you can appreciate the little extra explanation. I really think this is something that WordPress should bake into it by default because getting your emails in someone's inbox is everything. You don't want your emails in spam, you don't. Now, will this make all your emails go into the inbox? No, they're still, depending on what actually gets sent, it might, something might go into spam here or there. So uh, you can't uh, fully prevent it, but this will get your emails pretty much where they need to go into the inbox. Yes, you made it to the end of the video, which must mean that it brought value to you. So can you go ahead and click on the thumbs up down below? That'll help me out. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to click on the subscribe button right down below me. Now, if you want to find me on the internet, I've got a special Facebook group that I set up for people just like you that want answers to their WordPress website. And that's where you can find me, interact with me, and ask me questions. So go ahead and click on the blue button down below to join that special Facebook group. Now, I never want you to leave empty-handed, so I've created a free video course for you called the Three Steps to WordPress Success. In this video course, you're going to really learn how to make your website shine, get the results that you want, and have it really stand out from the crowd. So to access that free video course, go ahead and click on the link over here on the right. You can also find me at wpcrafter.com. Make sure you check out my 60 minute website challenges. Those are very popular and you can find those on the website as well. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I make these videos just for you and I hope you watch the next one.